At Burnhope Primary School we have children from the ages of 3 through to 11. Burnhope Primary School is a very happy and supportive environment and we feel that we have a very enriched curriculum where the children thrive. Being small means that we can get to know the children very well, um, we can target their development and know very clearly what the next steps are in their learning. I've got two children that come to Burnhall Primary School and I think the provision there is absolutely fantastic. I've got a child with special needs, he's always included in everything, he's in assemblies, they've got special provision for him in the classroom and I think with all the children in the school they're really fantastic. I think the Hope School does stand out from other schools in the area. It's in a beautiful setting, it's got fabulous outdoor space. It's lovely coming into the school every time and I've really seen, when you see the children walking around the school, they're so confident, they behave so well and it's just great to see. I know that a lot of the focus on the outdoor play has really helped with behaviour and in my time as a governor we've seen the phonics results go through the roof as well after a lot of work the staff have done on that. Phonics has a huge role in the development of children at a young age as it is what helps and enables children to learn to read. So phonics is the basics of learning the sounds, learning the letters, learning phonemes, digraphs and the children learn, learn to blend words which is how we learn to read and it has had a huge benefit on the outcomes of reading at our school. The children access Read Write Inc daily um, for an hour, which is a full phonics session, which includes reading and writing. They do the flashcards every day, they do the reading element every day, and throughout the week we embed grammar and the basics that children need to learn to write, but brought through the phonics side, making sure that that reading and decoding, and then to spell, is correct. This year we are set to hopefully achieve 100% in the phonics reading score which would be an amazing achievement and I think that just shows how impressive the programme is and how skilled the staff are at now delivering it. Recently we have been successful in achieving Opal Gold Award and we have also worked hard on achieving academic success and raising standards across the school in all areas. Opal, which is outdoor play and learning, we wanted to really engage our children at play times and make sure they had the most time to be active and physical. It allows children to have time to play outside, but not in a sense of having loads of equipment, in the sense of children will make dens with tyres and sheets, and you see a lot more child-led play in which the children don't really realise they're being active they see it as playtime but it, at the same time they're exploring loads of different concepts of communication, fine motor skills, gross motor skills which we embed through the whole school day now having the Opal outside at lunch times. We've definitely seen some great improvement in behaviour with the children since they started the Opal but as well as that it's so much fun for them. There's a range of uh, equipment out in the gardens. Anyone who wants to come and have a look, they can see there's tyres, there's things to climb on, there's a lot of mess. They all have their wellies and their outdoor coats because you do need that in Burnhoff. <laughs> but um, it has had a direct improvement in behaviour in classrooms as well and the kids all just love it. Every child gets PE three times a week. They have a 45 minute session, which means that from Key Stage 1 to Key Stage 2, they get over two hours of PE a week, which is higher than what is expected for national curriculum standards. The children also, each half term, rotate a swimming curriculum and take part in swimming lessons on a morning. But also, it's all the extra bits that staff do. No school is exempt from the pressures on funding but the school really work hard not to pass that cost on to the parents. All the wraparound care is free with free breakfast clubs every day and free after school clubs. So at the school I felt loads of after school clubs which are all free as well. They change them from term to term so there's loads of variety for the children. My daughter absolutely loves them. So at the moment they've got photography club which is coming home with little bits of photos that she's taken. She loves that. They do a drama club. We've got Breakfast Club on a morning which is also free which is absolutely helpful for any parents that work. I think Burnhope School would be a great choice for any parent in the area. It's got a fantastic staff team and headmistress who are really keen to make the school inclusive. They know all the children, it's nice and small, there's great outdoor space and there's brilliant results. It's, I can't imagine anything that you'd want more in a primary school.
We get a very positive response from parents. We have very high attendance for any community events that we hold here and parents see school as being very much a hub of the community. So as a parent with two children here already, I would recommend them to anybody. I've got a daughter who just loves to come and I've got a son with special needs and they're just, they're so inclusive for everybody and they go above and beyond for all the parents. I know every parent I speak to here just loves the school so much, so I really highly recommend them. So if you're looking for a place for your child to come to school, I would always recommend that you come and have a look around and get a feel for the school and you'll see what a fantastic learning environment it is.